praise God in Jesus' name. I'm starting to feel better. I'm starting to get my strength back. Praise Jesus. I needed that trial. God needed to put me through that trial to wake me up in some areas, man. That physical trial that I went through that y'all saw where I was laid up, I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. And praise God to the glory of God, I needed it in Jesus' mighty name to wake me up in some different areas and also to give the bride of Christ uh, some warnings, gentle warnings, but warnings to prepare uh, for the persecution that is to come as it has been confirmed through many believers all through the years. And I was made to believe that I was crazy, but it's coming uh, to a town near you and we need to be ready and it's not fear mongering you might as well call all of the prophets fear mongering then um, if you think I'm fear mongering for warning if you think Christians are fear mongering for a warning about things that are to come um, in regard to persecution and things of that nature um, and judgments you might as well call all the rest of the uh, prophets of old fear mongering uh, because we're just blowing the trumpet um, in Jesus name all the children of God right now are blowing their trumpets saying hello uh, prepare uh, for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ um, and prepare for the persecution that's to come um, because our hearts need to be ready to endure uh, persecutions on various levels um, and that's not something that we're to fear, uh, but it's something that we're to, um, celebrate, actually. Um, because we suffer for his name's sake and it brings more glory to God. Um, to be honest, we see that. We see, uh, 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 uh true Christ followers multiplying, um, through persecutions. And, uh, in Jesus' name... Uh, through another sister that was confirmed uh, just in a few years worldwide uh, that's something that we're going to see and uh, praise Jesus there's also revival um, that has already started in Jesus mighty name um, but uh, we've got the revival the worldwide revival and then we've got persecution immediately following and um we know what's next. We know what's next. The Lord shall descend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. But I give you a warning. If you're one of those people who's trying to escape or argue that, oh, no, we're not going to go through anything uh, before he just takes us out. That's unbiblical. That does not line up with the Word of God. And we just need to be careful. Oh, are you pre-trib? Are you mid-trib? Are you post-trib? Listen, Jesus Christ said we would endure persecution. And just because we're in America, we're softy about it. And we don't think that it could come in the forms that it comes in other parts of the world. But I tell you the truth. If you're just trying to escape, you're not really following Christ. Because someone that's following Christ is picking up his or her cross. They're not concerned about exactly what's coming next as far as persecution or to what level the persecution is coming. They're simply preparing their heart and staying close to Christ so that no matter what does happen in Jesus' mighty name, they are prepared. Their hearts are prepared. Just like Peter, you know, prepared his heart. He was zealous. He made a lot of mistakes, but he was ready to go both to prison and to death. Are we? That's what I'm wondering. And I feel like we just need to take that seriously today. In Jesus' mighty name, there's nothing to fear. And um, we just need to keep worshiping him in spirit and in truth and make sure that we have an actual relationship to him. And make sure that there's no sin in our lives that's hindering us. From seeing spiritually. 
because sin and compromise in sin will absolutely make you think that you're wise when actually you can't see what's going on. So, that's that. But if you know you have a close relationship with the Holy Spirit, if you know you have a close relationship with Christ, if you know you love Christ in your heart, in Jesus' name, especially if you're weeping, if his weeping, his tears are coming out for other people and for the bride in general, and you're feeling his pain, and, and, and you know him like that, you know him, you don't know about him, you know him, there's nothing to worry about, no matter what man says or woman says to you. I don't care who they are. Just like Paul said, <laughs> when he's talking about people that distort the gospel, he's like, I don't care who comes to y'all. I don't care who's got influence. I don't care what their name is. Anybody that's distorting the gospel of Christ, let them be accursed. And the biggest way that we distort the gospel of Christ right now is that we don't talk about repentance of sins. I've talked about repentance of sins while I was still dipping and dodging in sin. God was like, boom, chastise me good. Tell you what. Oh, yeah. Can't do that. Amen. Praise God for his mercy and his chastisement. For if he chastises me, he deals with me as a son. Or he deals with you as a daughter. But you don't want to walk that fiery line, bro. You, you don't want to walk that line. It's just not fun, bro. It's just you don't want to learn the hard way, bro. You just, you just don't, man. Uh, but anyway, all that being said in Jesus' name, for anyone uh, that wants to receive healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, hallelujah, I feel the Holy Ghost. I will sing in Jesus' name and demons will flee. Hallelujah, in Jesus' mighty name. Not by not might nor by power, but by the Spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. If you need healing, ha, huh, in the name of Jesus. If you need unclean spirits to leave and to never come back to your life. Hallelujah, no matter what rank, ha, huh, the demon is in Jesus' mighty name. You will have no more power over this person. Any infirmity in the physical, in the spiritual, you will go upon the new song of the Lord, sung in spirit and in truth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I feel the joy of the Lord. Oh, Jesus, you are worthy there is none besides thee none besides thee hallelujah jesus you break the chains off me Hallelujah, he who is free by the Son is free indeed, for you are worthy, for you are mighty, God, you are the way maker, miracle worker. Hallelujah, you are worthy, you are worthy of all praise. Sing with thousands and millions of angels and sing with saints. Hallelujah. Sing a new song from your core. Sing a new song. Sing some more. Sing a new song. Oh, the glory, glory of the Lord is here today. Oh, glory of the Lord is 
here today. Hallelujah, be free. Be free indeed. Hallelujah. And replace whatever has left with your spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, amen and amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God, Rabu, Shia, Rasi, Rasi.